Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Weekly Builds and today I've got a pretty big Lego haul and this isn't all of it. So as you can see, these are just the ones that are still in the box. I haven't taken them out yet. Um, although I did open this one up just to kind of verify the contents because I've had so many deliveries over the past week or two that I can't keep track of what's what. Um, yeah, in fact, there's so much Lego and sets and parts and minifigures that I'm going to break it down into th at least three separate videos, I think. Maybe, maybe two, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Otherwise, they, we could be here for hours. First up, we're looking at the actual sets I've got. So, pretty exciting. But before I open these ones up, let's show you some ones that are already out of the box. So, first up, oh, these aren't exactly any new sets. But these are some sets that I bought from my friend Jake, who you may have seen appear on the channel from time to time. I also collaborate with him on other daily weekly related projects. I do check out our other channels as well. But he was selling these sets because he just didn't really want them anymore. And I thought, mm, yeah, why not? I'm interested. First up, we have set number 76192 from the Marvel's Infinity War Saga. The, what was it called? Avengers Endgame Final Battle. I do like the van. The actual compound itself is, is okay. It's very kind of playset, but very basic. Luckily, Jake didn't charge me full price, eh? but that's what friends are for. Although the big fig for Thanos here is, is so nice. It's like, I don't think, I don't own any big figs, but this one, I'm glad to say I do own it. The Scarlet Witch, Wanda in here. Yeah, bit of a letdown, but hey, that's just normal. Another one, Marvel, from Spider-Man No Way Home, but it's more based on Spider-Man Far From Home. Again, I like the figures. I was tempted to get this one for myself when it came out. I just never got around to it. I mean, it is a four plus set, so the builds aren't anything special. And, you know, I might build the car, that drone I, I really don't care for. So I'll be parting now, that's for sure. But the figures themselves is worth it alone. So whether I keep these or just sell them on, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that's they're the best thing about that set, the figures, obviously. And finally, my real favourite theme, if I can just reach down and grab the box, is Lego City. Yes. I'll put that there in a minute. Ah, oh, the camper van, set number 60283. Mm -hmm. I think I owned the original camper van set from, I think, 2009. So, yeah, I might do a little comparison video to see how they've changed because this one and that one are quite different, but this one and the one before it, the kind of second one, it's very similar, but I guess if you've mastered the design once, you don't need to keep changing it. You know, you don't need to reinvent the wheel when you've got it looking so good. And I think this does look really nice. Yeah, like, I love Lego City. I just really do. It is my favorite thing. So that's those three, but there's more. These are, uh, I'm looking at them now, they're over here this time. I've got Lego everywhere. So these sets are just some orders I've ordered from Lego directly over the past couple of weeks. Whoa. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't plan to spend as much money on Lego this past month than I ever expected to. But, you know, the prices went up for a lot of things on September 1st and it was just painful to see. Um, but it also went down for some things. Some things were on sale. And, well, I think we all know what these are now. The Pirates VIP pack. If you get one of these for free for spending more than £50 if you're a Lego VIP member. If, I mean... It's free to be a VIP member, so I don't know why you wouldn't be, but hey, if you're not, sign up. And they're doing a Halloween one for October as well, so I'm probably going to end up getting a few of those. But there's that. I also have a couple of these. But the set that was on sale, uh, and the only reason why I bought it, was the Fab Five Queer Eye, the Fab Five Loft Queer Eye. Never seen the show, don't care for it. And I definitely wouldn't have paid £90 for this set at full price. It was on sale for 54 which I think is much better on you know on the bank balance and just in general i do really like the build it's a very modern thing the minifigures yeah they look interesting um yeah i, I bought it for the set because i thought it was quite nice and it was on sale so and it's retiring at the end of this year i mean i'm not too surprised but yes so i thought well i might as well get it so i'm just gonna pop that up there now um Next up is a set that did go up and the price increases and I was saving up for it anyway. So I was, it's my birthday soon, it's my birthday in October. So I was like, yeah, I'll treat myself. You know, before the year's out, there are three sets that I want to get. Back to the Future DeLorean, the Office set, which is coming out soon, and the Daily Bugle. Daily Bugle has gone up to 300 pounds now. 
Oh, it's getting hard to justify, but I do have a lot of VIP points building up, so I might redeem them for a discount to kind of lower the price a bit, but I do really want that set. But uh, yeah, there are these price increases, I have to get it before it goes up even more, which is exactly what I did with this next set. Oh, and I am so pleased to finally own it. The Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine Creator it's Icons now, I believe it's called. Oh, it doesn't say on the box, but... Ah, yeah, so this set was originally £150 in the UK, which I thought was a little expensive, but I could justify it. It's Back to the Future. I needed... Like, there was no way I couldn't have this set. I had to... Out of all the sets, I needed this, because I'm a huge fan of the movies, and I've always wanted one of these. Just a Lego DeLorean. I think it's a perfect mixture of things. But then it went up in price to £170. And I did pay 170 for it because I thought, right, these LEGO price increases are happening more and more often now. If I kept waiting, this probably would have gone up to 200 and then 250 I wouldn't be surprised over the next year or two. Because I think Assembly Square launched 180 Beginning of 2022, it went up to 230 And now it's up to 260 or 265 So, I mean, luckily I did buy that again. Panicked, forced... Lego forced my hand here to get it before I initially planned to because the prices were going up. But anyway, I, oh, I'm i so happy. This is, I do want to get one of these for investment anyway, but this is, this is for me. This is an early birthday present. Oh, I just had to get it. Um, so I will be building this. I will be making videos on it. And some, I ordered some other parts to do some modifications and to make some more figures for this set. Obviously it's not, it's not minifigure compatible, but just to make a nicer display for it. So I'll talk about more of that later, but yes, finally, the Back to the Future time. Oh, I just, I, I, I want to hug it. I, yeah, I will treasure this moment forever. Ah, okay, let's open up these boxes then. Let's see what's in there. Oh, I'm gonna run out of room on my desk. Uh, okay, I'll put you back down for now. All right, let's start with the small one. What is this? I think when I ordered the Back to the Future, no. Ugh. I don't often order directly from Lego, but I've done it like three or four times in the space of two weeks. Um, obviously they've had multiple gift with purchases going on. And my order was shipped in multiple parts. So it was the same order, but it came in like two or three different kind of deliveries. So I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yes. It's the Jane Goodall gift with purchase. I can't remember which order it qualified I got this with, but... Oh God, where am I going to put you? You are going to go over there. So yeah, this was free with purchases over £120 in the UK. It came out earlier in the year, but they brought it back around again. I guess they had some left over. I'm not really interested in it, but I got it to sell on later. But I'm thinking there's probably a lot of these on the market. And most gift with purchases of this size retail for about £20-ish. So there might not be a huge thing. Maybe I'll part it out, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I got it. I because I wanted to get some other sets. I thought, well, you know, I might as well. So there we go, there's that one. Um, let's go for this big box, which I have already opened. I think that was part of this order. Because, oh yes, because I ordered the Back to the Future time machine. I think the day or two days before that this gift for purchase came back. So with that, for the Back to the Future one, I only got the um, Pirates add-on pack. Whereas I could have waited a couple of days and got this as well, or maybe two of them. Oh, if I can get it open. Okay, yes, yeah, so another one of the Pirates add on packs. Yay! I mean, they are pretty cool packs, so I don't think there's anything rare or exclusive in here, but just handy. I'll be parting these out. I don't think they're really worth reselling, but another one of those. And a set that I have been on the fence about for a very long time. And even now, I'm not even sure if I want it. But I got it because apparently it was retiring end of this year. But I don't know. It is Sesame Street. 
Oh dear, where is this going to go? Uh, let's pop you um, 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 over there. Ah, that'll do. Yeah, so got these in an order. Obviously, I did have to spend a little bit more to qualify for that, but I can't remember what I've ordered or what's not, but here it is anyway. So I got the Sesame Street set and yeah, I really like, obviously this is a Lego Ideas submission. I really wanted and really liked the original submission, the build. It's quite different to this. Um, obviously this set is an awkward one to display, especially with how they did Hooper's store. I mean, you can kind of see even on the box how it's at such an awkward angle where you can kind of see the inside and I, I don't really know what they were thinking with it, but I have seen a really nice rebrickable model that uses two of these to make a kind of bigger version. Um, but I mean, this was £105. Uh, I don't know if I like it. I mean, I do like that rebrickable model, but I don't know if I want to spend essentially £210 to get... Like, um, Sesame Street isn't that big here in the UK. Like, we sure, we know the characters, but I, I don't know if I, I, I want it. So, um, yeah, I will be keeping it for now. But I'm thinking, I don't care for the figures at all. And I'm thinking, looking on eBay, like, oh, are they like £10 a pop? Maybe I can make some money back if I'll keep the building and sell the figures, because I, I really don't care about them. Um, but hey, I got it. And if I change my mind, I can just sell it. It's not the end of the world. That's the great thing of Lego. Someone will buy it off me, that's for sure. So, there are these. Wow, I, I'm really running out of room here. I've got one more box to open. Um... Yeah, I think this might be something different. This is from Amazon, or it's in an Amazon box, but I don't think I ordered this one. Hmm, I'm going to open it and find out. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I don't know if I should show this off or not in this video. I don't know if I can. Although I am very excited. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Now, this one I have to save for a future video. So, um, oh, I'm excited for that one. That's, oh, yeah, really excited. Okay, well, you can't see that one just yet, but let's put all the other sets on that I've got, and I'll show you these, because, oh, this, this is exciting. I don't know where to put it. Oh, before I forget, I did get a couple things from Argos. Yes, because... You know, as you do, I was scrolling through looking for deals, and well, I, I found a couple of deals. Right, first up, it's the Muppets minifigure series. They were selling these on clearance for like two pounds or two pound fifty each. So I got the the last three that my local Argos had. Um, yeah, no idea what ones they are. I don't. Again, I don't care for them, but it was cheap. Why did I do that? I I don't know. Um, so they can, I guess they go well with Sesame Street, you know, they're all, they're all similar, aren't they? So there's those. And then another set, which I really should have waited to go on sale, but it's just, again, another set I had to have. And that's the Speed Champions James Bond Aston Martin DB5 minifigure scale. Again, I... I almost got the Creator Expert version, but there was something about it that I just... I don't know, I couldn't put my finger on it. It was nice, but I couldn't... Something about it I just didn't like. I don't really regret not getting it, but... I got this one instead. Again, I'm not completely sold. Like, it's a hard build. It's a hard car to build in LEGO form with the curves and the shapes of things. And after seeing some reviews of this already with, like, miscolored stickers not lining up or the back windscreen piece being a different shade... Uh, yeah, but um, I got it. It's twenty pounds. That's full price. Speed Champions used to be like I can't remember fifteen or then that eighteen maybe. So this will probably will go on sale. I think I've already started to see it on sale since then. But I don't mind. I'll probably get a couple more of these maybe for investment to sell on or something. It's been a very impulsive couple of weeks. But yeah, let's get back and put everything on the table so you can see what I've got. So there we have it guys, that's all the Lego sets that I got in this Lego haul. Some from Lego.com, some from Argos, oh that's pretty much it. 
And then of course I do have that mystery box which I will be able to show you at a future point. Some nice stuff, some stuff that I'm just really happy with, you know, in general. Like, yeah, not a bad thing. I mean, expensive time. I just can't get over the fact I own this. Oh, so exciting. I just, I, I can't wait, can't wait. Well, yeah, I'm gonna get to storing this away and start building some of it. Wow, I don't know where to start. But have you bought any exciting Lego sets recently? Do let me know in the comments. I'd really love to hear from you. And which one of these is your favorite? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.